if you uh, look at the Kashmir problem, we always see the Muslim sufferings. But it, that story also has other side, right? Every coin has a two sides. So likewise, in a Kashmir, there used to be a Hindus uh, lived there. And after all, this was um, originally won by the Hindu king, Hari Singh, and the majority of the people are Muslims. But uh, we all know the history now. The Hindus were driven out and they've been living as a refugees in their own country. Most of them live in uh, Delhi and other parts of India, and many of them migrated to around the world. So now the Kashmiri diaspora want to tell their story, and they want to tell their side and now, now let's see let's their see side of the story. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kashmiri public <coughs> story is that of continuous genocide. And because we were victims of continuous genocide, we understood terrorism 700 years before the West even knew what this phenomena was. So much so that it baked itself into our culture. India in 89 was a very weak country. Uh, we had just come out of the terrorism and uh, uh, proxy war in, in, in Punjab. Uh, we had come out of uh, Mrs. Gandhi's assassination and we all know what happened in Punjab. And then uh, our enemy hit us in Kashmir. Our state should have done what we did in 1947-48. Uh, we did not do that and we let uh, it uh, deteriorate and till today or till August 5th, more or less that same narrative was playing. We go on and on and on. I don't yeah. think that should be the uh, purpose now. I think that we should applaud the effort that uh, Vivek is making a film about this. Uh, I feel tragedy is something the first we think is we run away from tragedy. It takes years to understand. First thing that we learn is to survive, and that's what we did. But at the end of the day, there is a long war between the people who believe that violence pays and people who believe that non-violence pays. Even if it's a real war, I have a very, very strong conviction. I'm a great believer of Saraswati. I don't believe. I'm, I'm, believe me, I'm not a Lakshmi and Durga follower, I'm a Saraswati follower. I guarantee you it's my conviction and it's a voice straight from the top. We will win this war of narrative with our government.